folks, I'm here to tell y'all that the Eagles are going to make it to the playoffs. They will clinch a playoff berth. And man, it's crazy because before this season started, everybody told us that the Eagles were going to miss the playoffs. They be the worst team in the division. We heard it all. They were saying that we might be in contention to get the number one overall pick. I mean, they doubted Jalen Hurts that much. But what I've what I've learned with this Eagles team is that unlike last year when they were reliant on the quarterback to make whether it was Carson Wentz who wasn't making plays or Jalen Hurts, they were relying on the QB to make spectacular plays and win them games. And guess what? That's why we were had we had a terrible season and Doug Peterson, which I'll talk about later, you know, got fired. Now look, moving forward. Jalen Hurts is QB1 for this team. But what I was about to say about this whole entire team in general, the offensive line is great. The wide receivers, Devontae Smith has been a revelation, and he has shown why he deserved to be the 10th pick in this draft. And what's funny to me, it's kind of you know, ironic, right? Today, as you know, we beat the, give them a oh, butt whooping, Right, the Giants. It's funny how, you know, with the Giants, we had the 12th overall pick in the draft. And the Giants had the 11th overall pick. Now, the Giants wanted to get Devontae Smith. They were hell-bent, and they thought that they would get him at number 11. Well, guess what the Cowboys did? They just they did us a big favor and ended up trading down from 10 to 12. And we got that 10th pick and picked Devontae Smith. Now, the Giants were like, dang, like, y'all got Devontae Smith, and they ended up trading down from 11 to 20 with the Bears pick, and that's and the Bears took that 11th pick to pick uh, Justin Fields. All of us to say, thank you to the Cowboys, because if it was not for y'all, the Giants would have Devontae Smith and the Eagles, I don't know who we would have, but again, having Devontae Smith, people said that, you know what, he is too skinny, too small. How can he translate? How can his skill set translate to the NFL? I'm here to tell y'all, this guy is a wide receiver that's going to be in this league for years to come. He might not be as good as Jamar Chase. I'll give you that. But best believe, this guy is a stud. You saw that little two-tap. I mean, I, he been doing ballerina or something. Because, I mean, this guy is too nice. Too, it's too nice. It's too nice. It's too nice. So, again, Devontae Smith has been a revelation. And this Eagles defense, now, granted, it was the Giants. They had Jake Fromm. They had Mike Glennon, I believe, as well. I mean, Jake Fromm, I mean, he looked terrible. Looked terrible. I mean, again, he had four days of preparation before this game. So, I ain't going to knock the kid too much, but, you know, he looked pretty bad, and that's another reason why the Giants only scored 10 points. What I will say, though, is Jalen Hurts, moving forward, has to make better reads. He has to make better reads. It was that one play in the red zone. The Eagles settled for a field goal in the first half after Jalen Hurts missed Dallas Goddard. It was a wide-open pass. I was like, dude, what the heck? I mean, I don't know what he was looking at. Now, against the Giants, you can do that. But against a team like the Cowboys, you know, these other teams in the NFC, you're not going to be able to get away with that. You're going to end up paying for that later down the road. Luckily, the Giants are 4-10. and 10. Well, now they're 4-11, four, they're four and 11, and they're a god-awful team. But against tougher competition, especially in the playoffs, Jalen Hurts has to look back at film and get better at that. Again, everybody said that this Eagles team, wasn't going to do nothing and play. They wasn't going to do nothing this season. Well, guess what? Now we are in prime position to get a playoff spot. Now, how do we look at it right now? We had the seventh spot right now. I believe the, the 49ers, they have the sixth spot right now. The 49ers, they just lost to the Titans. And next week, or not next week, but the week after that, so in two weeks, January 9th, you know, week 17, they ended up playing, they they played the Rams. And, you know, if they lose that game and the Eagles, we went out, we have the sixth seed. And who's the third seed right now in the NFC? Let me check it right now. Who's, who was the third seed in the NFC? 
It's I, I know the Packers already got it. I'm pretty sure here it is. Oh, I would not want Tampa Bay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I not want Tampa Bay. Okay. Okay, all right. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe, all right, maybe. Here's what the Eagles should do, right? <laughs> here's, what the, here's what they should do. <laughs> they should basically win this next game next week against Washington. And honestly, I would lose the game against the Cowboys on purpose. I lose them on purpose because, look, the other teams that are in contention for the playoff spot are the Saints who we already beat. So even if we had the same record as them, guess what? We had that tiebreaker, so we're going to end up getting that seventh spot over them. And the Vikings. But the Vikings also play another tough team, which is the Packers, right? They play, they play the Packers next week. So do you, do you think that the Vikings are going to beat the Packers? They might. It's, it's, not, it's not like a Hail Mary, but I don't see them doing that. So it's between really us and the Saints. And again, the Saints, you know, they I don't, I don't expect them to win out. They play Miami tomorrow. We'll see what they do. But I'm liking our chances uh, in this, you know, in this, you know, in the NFC. And it's really going to be, I think we should really try to avoid, you know, the Bucks with that sixth spot. Try to get that seventh spot. Try to face the Rams. I feel like that's a better matchup for us. But again, moving forward, I want this Eagles team. Don't worry about no quarterback unless unless it is Deshaun Watson and, and his and his legal stuff is taken care of. Aside from that, don't look for no quarterback. Do what the Ravens are doing with Lamar Jackson and build this team around Jalen Hurts. We have seen that the formula for to win games with Jalen Hurts is to run the ball. Run the ball with Miles Sanders, Boston, you know, Boston Scott, Jawan Howard. Run the ball with, with these guys, and this opens up the field for Jalen Hurts because now teams are guessing, you know, are, are, are they going to run? Is he going to pass? And yes, Hertz has to make better reads, but he has made some dart. He made some great throws today and against. Remember that? Remember last week that you know that uh, over the back shoulder pass to uh, Greg Ward, right where he could only get it. I mean, look, Dylan Hertz is shown. Just give the guy some pieces, and he's going to win some games. He's not going to lose you games. I've been saying this from the jump, and he is a guy that I want to be a leader of my team. And he reminds me of a guy like I've always said. Of Dak Prescott and again if you build this team around Jalen Hurts similarly to the Ravens and Lamar Jackson this will be the keys to success I don't see any quarterback that they should get right now unless it's Deshaun Watson that is significantly better than Jalen Hurts again let me know what y'all think down below to show the Eagles do you think you have them making the playoffs where you have them going how far you have them going in the NFL playoffs uh, you know, if they ended up, you know, getting getting you know, getting that sixth seed or that seventh seed, where you have them, you have them going to the NFC Championship, winning a playoff game, winning two. Let me know down below in the comments. And what are your thoughts on Jalen Hurts and his future as QB one for the Eagles? He's got my vote. Let me hear your vote down below in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz. This is real talk with MJ, where you know I always keep it real. I'm out, y'all.